Welcome everyone to this week's edition of Chubby's Tip of the Week, live from Chubby's Garage. I am Shannon Brandyberry, Managing Editor of Motor Age Magazine, and Chris Chubby Frederick, the CEO of ATI, is with me again this week. This week, Chubby, I want to talk about what is the best way to train a new employee? Well, it's different for everybody, and it really depends upon the level that the new employee coming in has at the moment. But the main message would be practice, practice, practice. Most of us, I would say, at least including me, because I'm not that bright, um, we have to hear, read, write, and say something six times for 62% retention. So an owner that wants a new service advisor or new tech to do something mentions it one time that ch or two times or even three times, the chance of them remembering that or actually being able to put that into practice is slim to none. Then the owner gets frustrated. So it really takes about six times and a lot of practice. And some of us are auditory learners, so we can learn from somebody saying, don't do that, stand up, do that, move over there. Some of us can't. Some of us have to see the written word. And if you think about it, this is why uh, many of us don't do very well with training our children and why professional teachers have done much better with most of our children than many parents because most of us aren't capable of homeschooling. And it's because we've never been trained to teach. So my suggestion in many cases is just think about what a teacher has to do to train some a student that's going to be in their class for six months. They don't anticipate that they're going to get it overnight. They're not going to hear it one time. So six times for 62% retention. That's great. And so it's a little bit of going back to school for all of us. Yes, it is. Thanks again for joining us this week and to all of our viewers. And we will see you next week for another Chubby's Tip of the Week. Thank you, Shannon.